Hello guys, welcome back to the crew Wild Run. The crew for Nobis part number 7. Wheel settings um, or driving a drag car with a keyboard. Stuff like that. That's what we're gonna try to uh, establish in this one. So, we'll start the video. Um, we're gonna do a skill test here, a slalom. There we go. I select slalom. Uh, you pick one out there, for instance. Why not? <coughs> so, first, I'm gonna take um, a circuit pack. In this case, the Ducati Diavel, and uh, I'm gonna do this slalom here quickly uh, not attacking or trying to get a top score or something just finishing this run Due to that cafe, uh, traffic car, I lost one gate. Not that important. Score 11,500. Uh, I missed a gate, so maybe I can score 12,000 or something like this. Uh, the settings that I have for this is sport, automatic, vibration, and dead zone to zero, and all the rest sensitivity and linearity and all that um, to the maximum and controller type on auto detect so it automatically detects my keyboard nothing wrong with that now I'm gonna take a drag car and do exactly the same the problem with that you will immediately see is there is gonna be a problem with circuit spec I scored 11,000 right just remember that. So I'm um, changing to hood cam, that's my preferable uh, view in this game uh, to drive a car. Already see that the tires are heating up, so that's not a good idea. So we're gonna switch the first setting, automatic gearbox to manual. We're gonna put it in second gear and just leave it there. But the steering is a bit of a problem, so I have to brake, doesn't work, I have doing wide angles. So there is a way to um, sort it. You can turn this car by um, abrupt movements, and how do you do that? Well, by tapping the handbrake, which I will uh, start doing in a bit, I think. Here I'm still going slower, here I'm gonna speed it up. And now you sort of hear me tap the handbrake. Sort of to flick the car around. But it is a bit messy, you have to go off throttle, you have to control your, uh, your tires and stuff like that. And still, you have to tap the handbrake to make the car turn because otherwise with the drag car, it's just very hard to do. So, time for the magic trick. We go back into settings, at least, oh, there we go. Sport manual, we keep it like that, but we're gonna change the controller type. Although I'm playing with a keyboard, we are going to change it into wheel, which makes it way better for the steering because it's gonna steer way faster and sharper 
the fact of it is that that you have to bring down the linearity uh, for throttle and brake and, and uh, steering also and probably also uh, sensitivity and speed factor you might have to mess around with that uh, the tires do heat up way faster if you have put it in this setting so you, that's the thing you have to control as you can see here I'm, I'm flicking all over the place so uh, the steering speed factor and sensitivity is a bit too high so I'm gonna have to bring that down uh, in a minute I think it's a bit too hard to control this way I'm playing around with the throttle because that is what you have to do uh, with this setup otherwise you're gonna heat up the tires way faster than with the normal keyboard setup so I'm gonna bring down the sensitivity one click and the speed factor one click as well I'm gonna save that and off we go again second gear we put the car in and we keep it there so 11,500 with the bike maybe 12,000 although uh, I missed the gate there doing a first run here uh, sort of trying to adjust myself to the new settings the only thing you have to do here now is sort of uh, control the throttle that it keeps under the green burn bar there but it's way more easy to control this drip, uh, drag car although I'm doing a slalom I hit a few cars and uh, but the score 13,200 But I think you will get the idea. I scored 11,000, maybe 12,000 if lucky with a the bike. Then I changed to a drag car with the same settings. Well, not even scoring 8 or 9,000. Missed the gate here. Missing a gate in the slalom means that um, the multiplier goes down, so um, your score will be a, a bit less. The scene I'm using a drag car, I'm going further on the track than I would be with my um, circuit bike. So I'm doing more gates, so I'm getting more points anyway. But I hit a car, missed one or two gates, so not good. Here we go again. Go a bit wider at the start. You can easily swing around, even with the drag car. You can swing around traffic. You don't have to tap the handbrake to make the car turn. It will steer pretty smoothly. Although I'm just... Um, I'm not fully pressing the key to steer. Uh, I'm just sort of tapping the steering moves but if you bring the uh, probably the speed factor or the sensitivity a bit down uh, a bit more down then it probably will be even smoother that's something you have to mess around with if you change the auto detect to wheel settings because that's basically what I did I sort of made the system believe that I play with a wheel although I'm playing with a keyboard 13,450 I improved again one more try well why not let's try not to hit traffic and get all the gates this time I'm all the time, that's why I keep in second gear, because I'm all the time close to the green 
burn bar. So you, that's what you basically have to control is um, your tires. Because if it goes over the green point uh, at your burn bar, it will spin out. Fourteen thousand two hundred points. Once again, yeah, yeah. First, I'm gonna repair here. So, what is the big issue? Um, you have to play around with the settings a bit, but the main thing is you have to change the auto detect into wheel, the controller type. That is. So I'm I'm, uh, I'm setting it back now because that's how I play normally um, for races and stuff like that. So, how to drive a drag car with a keyboard in slalom? That's sort of what I'm trying to show here in this video. Part number seven: the crew for newbies. I will see you guys in the next one, and bye for now.